What is up, guys? Pure Ice Cold here, bringing you a commentary. I got you a really exciting gameplay today. Just using my N94 with silencer, you know, just kind of doing my thing. And I'm playing some arms race. But this gameplay is, uh, it's all one game, guys. But this gameplay is awesome. All right, the first part you're going to see here is me just playing, getting owned. I end up rage quitting. I rage quit and join a game. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it in the video, but I rage quit, join a game right away. I ended up getting right back into the same game, doing work and making us win. And the ending of this video is really cool. It was like 74 74, and I get the final kill, but you got to see how I do it. It's actually really cool and really funny. But yeah, it's, you know, anyways, guys, gameplay is awesome. But to the point of this video, guys, Xbox One has come out with some. Um, with some feedback that everyone's been talking about, you know, if it requires online, the use game thing. But I've been looking at it here, and I'm going to go over kind of kind of what we know right now about the Xbox One. So Xbox One has come out and said that Xbox will not require an always online connection. So everyone's been saying, oh, you know, you need to be online. It has to be online, yada, yada. But they say you do not need one. But the catch of that is... You do have to log in every 24 hours, all right? So if your internet goes down, you have 24 hours to play, and once that 24-hour mark hits, boom, you can't play your games anymore. It's, it's done. You can't play. You can still watch TV and do all that kind of crap, of course, but you can't play your games. I'm not too sure I feel about that. And um, But they also said, so say, my, say I go to a friend's house, right, and I put my account on his Xbox, you have to log in every hour at that point. So you can't, you know, like if you're sitting there doing, you're playing offline or something, you have to log in on every hour is, is what it sounds like. You have to log in every hour, otherwise you can't play your games. And I'm not too sure I feel about this. I mean, I do have, and they, and they said everyone has a broadband connection. So, I mean, I'm thinking that's over, you know, a megabyte is a broadband connection. So, I mean, that's not really that big of a deal. But I'm just, I'm just, you know, curious how this is going to go with a lot of people, you know. I mean, not a lot of people like that. But you also got to look at the history of uh, Microsoft. They'll pull, they pull the people to the future kicking and screaming. I mean, if you look back at 2002 when Xbox Live was released, I think it was 2002. But when Xbox Live was released, it needed a broadband connection. You had to have a broadband connection. And back then, broadband connections, you know, were one in a few. No one really cared about it. And you have to have one. So, and not everyone wanted that. People were kicking and screaming, yada, yada. And I'm thinking that's what they're doing here now. I think people are, they, they don't care. I mean, they'll, they, they pull people kicking and screaming into the future. They don't, you know, they'll do it. I mean, they're, they're a big enough company. They'll do it. And, um, so, I mean, that's just kind of my take on it. But I mean, I guess I don't really mind it. I mean, I know a lot of people are like, oh God, you know, it doesn't have backwards capability and all that kind of stuff. I'm like, honestly, I'm keeping my 360. And I'm going to be so focused on the new games, I'm not really going to care about the old ones. But, I mean, there, I could see how this is going to affect a lot of people in their buying process. And uh, shared games, too. So, like, say say you're a big family, right? Say it's like, you know, you, your, you know, your mom, your dad, and two brothers, whatever, three brothers. And you guys have, like, five accounts or five, you know, accounts on one, you know, account. I guess I, I don't know if that really makes sense. But, you know, you have, like, you know, five gamer tags on one account or something like that. Um... If you have three people playing, right? So this is what's going to be. You're three people playing on one account. And you have, you know, one game that everyone wants to play. You can't do that. You can only have one shared game go into one console at a time. So you have somebody that wants to play Call of Duty Ghost. But you have someone over here that also wants to play Call of Duty Ghost with you. You can't do it. It says you can only have one shared game going at one time per, like, account like that. So, I mean, I know that a lot of families aren't going to do it. That doesn't affect me. I live alone. I have my own place. That doesn't affect me at all. A lot of these things really don't affect me, but I know it's going to be a really big thing for you know a lot of Xbox fans out there, and um, and a lot of people that are PS you know PlayStation fanboys and all that kind of stuff. I would be very 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 surprised if the PlayStation doesn't do something similar to this. Definitely in the used game category. Okay, I'll get to the used game categories. Used games. And new games, you can either you can either buy them digitally, like how you can now go in the Xbox Marketplace and buy your game, but you can also buy you can also buy the disc. So you still got that kind of stuff, but um, you cannot trade your games. Okay, okay. Well, you can, you can. It's all really confusing, but okay. So let me, I'll, I'll explain it. Um, say I buy a game, right? And I have a friend on Xbox Live that says, "Hey, let me." have that game and I'll give you this game for it it's like okay but your friend has to be on your friends list for at least one month 
in order to do that. And, and the game can only be traded one time. So I'm not too sure how that goes. And, the, and they're also posting in the, this article that I've been reading that they're gonna they're looking into how to um, have people so they can rent games. I'm not too sure. You know, if you're gonna go into the Xbox and be like I want to rent this game for a week for you know like 20 bucks. Then you can just play your game. I think that's what it's going to be like. But people like me that do not have the fastest connection and how everything is going digital and I can't get faster connection where I live, I mean, we're going to we're gonna suffer by that. I mean, I have like a 3 May connection, guys. I do not have the best connection. I mean, it gets me by, but it will definitely lag compared to you know other people out there that have 15 May connections and download in like two seconds. But, I mean, yeah, use games. I'll get back on topic here. Use games. They're, gonna, they're talking about it. And... Uh, it's also up to the third-party um, game developers, you know, like Ubisoft and Activision and Treyarch, you know, kind of kind of things like that. It's up to them, too. It's not Microsoft. It's up to them. So if they want to, they can have an activation fee on their game. I mean, they. I don't, I don't know if they can also say, we want our game traded more than once. I kind of doubt it. But if you want to sell your game or do something like that, they, I th- they, they, can, they can implement... Um, activation fees, you know, kind of like what Battlefield 3 has. If you log in, you have to have the online pass. You know, they might do something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but I just, you know, making a video, guys, getting that out there, you know, sharing some uh, information about the Xbox One. But video's wrapping up, guys, and I'm going to let this go a little bit longer. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that is it, and until uh, next time, later.